Hey everyone, uh, Salesforce Shorts here. In this video, we're just gonna talk about how to create, no, sorry, how to delete um, a lot of accounts in the system, okay? So you can pretty much use the same thing for any object. Um, in our previous video, and yeah, feel free to check this out, we, we did a bulk creation of 500 plus accounts inside of Salesforce, and then basically all this is doing is just um, using single, single account dot name, the site, and just a, another custom field called number of locations and then just created it. Um, just adding a one, two, three, all the way to 500 after that. Um, all right, so, but now, yeah, we've got a lot of accounts in the system um, that we don't really want it anymore because we wanna get rid of it. So we're just gonna try and delete it now. Um, so in this video, we're just gonna create a new Apex class and let's just call this um, ACC deletion. All right, so first thing we want to do is just create a method here. So let's just call this public void delete accounts. And then inside of this, um, all we need is a list of accounts. Um, let's just call this ACC to delete. So these are all the accounts we want to delete. And let's go with select ID from accounts and then uh, yeah use database.delete um, this will help you delete in bulk so yeah if you've got a lot of records you want to delete this is one of the best ways to do that um, maybe one more thing we could maybe do here is we could add a where clause so I'm just gonna say select ID from accounts where so if you don't want to delete every single account in the system and you only want to delete some of them, um, like let's say for example, we want to delete everything that's got test in front of it or, or anything that's got test in the name. Okay, so I'm just going to add here where name like and let's put there test. All right, so basically what these two um, percentage things mean is if if you just put test there without this, it's gonna find all the names for te test only, but now it's checking if test is anywhere inside of the name. So even if we had an account, like let's just create a new account maybe and call this one, uh, one, two, three, four, test, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, four. So even if this is the name, it's gonna find all of the names where test is inside. All right, so basically when all of this is deleted, we shouldn't see any accounts with test inside of the name. So I'm just gonna go back to back to Dev Console. Um, another thing we can do is you can just grab this query as well. Go to the query editor, put it in there, and then we can see how many we've got. So we've got 588 um, accounts there all right so we could also just chuck a little system dot debug here and then this will find total size yeah so this is going to find the total size of all the accounts that we've got in this list as well so this should also say 588 all right so let's go to um, anonymous window Use the account deletion. Um, we'll just initiate this and call this AD equals new AD. And then AD and use the method name, dot method name and execute. All right, sweet. Hopefully there's no problems there. Cool, looks like this uh, may have worked. So if we scroll down to the bottom, yeah, you can actually see if you scroll down to the bottom, um, it'll tell you how many software queries, how many query rows we had. So we had. 588 there so we can delete basically 50,000 um, which is quite helpful that's quite a, quite a lot of records um, if you want to do anything more than that you're probably going to have to use uh, batch apex for that but yeah for now this should be all right um, all right so next step is oh yeah let's just go back to our logs and click debug only all right oh my bad I should have put some <laughs> So next time, if you want to see the size, um, just put this a dot size after it, and then that'll show you the actual size. 
but because we just did that, um, the only thing we can see right now is the list. So it's giving us like everything that was in, inside of the list, which probably is also isn't too bad. But yeah, anyway, so if I re refresh this now, we should only see a few accounts. All right, cool. So we've only got the accounts here that does not include test and name. And as you can see, that one we just created with the numbers is also not there. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and check out our other videos. Thanks.